Hey guys, it's the Elusive Mad and welcome to Nightingale. I've been so excited to play this game. I've been talking about it non-stop in my streams. First off, I want to say thank you to Inflection Games for giving me early access to this game. And guys, keep in mind this is early access, so certain features, images, and gameplay functions may be changed when the final product releases. So while it looks amazing, don't fall too in love with anything. We're going to start out with character creation. And while I'm known for my dapper beard, I was feeling more feminine when I was building my character. They have several initial basic body types. I went with body type B, which is the more feminine option. I think as the game continues to develop, we'll get more customization options. One option we do have is our character's age. In real life, as we all know, I'm a 157 year old wizard, but I chose my character's age to be 29 and had her born in May because Taurus are clearly superior. Next, we get to hear the grunts and groans of our character. We have two options. We have one bassy tone and one soprano style voice. I chose the higher pitch one to more closely match my own angelic sounding voice. The third part of creation is ancestry. There are several options with incredibly interesting backstories. I decided to be a tradesperson. A tradesperson is a practical jack of all trades spending most of their time laboring for a modest life. Hermit probably would have fit my reputation a bit better, but sometimes you gotta work for a living. Part of Ancestry lets you create your lineage. I was raised by wolves, but I gave my girl elusive a set of parents and grandparents. You can go back further, but ain't nobody got time for that. Once your lineage is picked, you get to determine genetic inheritance. This feature does minutely alter facial and size features, but it gives your character a more unique feel. Then we get to the more well-known features. You can choose your skin color, eye color, hair color, and style. There are some predetermined swatches to pick from and multiple styles for different bodily features, including my personal favorite, tattoos and facial hair. Sadly, I skipped out on the beard this time. Now we get to fine tune our appearance. There's miter slider functionality that helps adjust location and length of certain body parts. I feel like I captured my chiseled jawline <laughs> and wide set eyes perfectly. I did consider giving myself the foot long eyelashes of my dreams, but figured they were impractical in a survival situation. Mouth customization comes next, playing with lip shape and cheek fullness. There are even options for metal teeth, teeth decay, and even crookedness. Let's be real, no one was brushing their teeth in the 1800s. After that, it's time to get fabulous. That's right, it's makeup time. A little bit of blush here, some lipstick there, and I can't forget my iconic raccoon eyeliner. Just because we're out in the wilderness doesn't mean we can't look our best. The final part of character customization is the difficulty level. They're easy, medium, hard, and extreme. Each setting has essentially a brief summary of our current livelihood. From a comfortable living to a virtually nothing. I didn't see the stories for everyone, but I imagine they're tailored for whatever ancestry traits you choose. I decided to play it semi-safe and go about medium. For a tradesperson, that means I'm a regular traveler, but I've slowed down my nomadic lifestyle in the wake of the Paris transept, which is causing some general panic amongst our peers. I'm not entirely sure what the Paris transept is, but I believe it will come into play later. You also get to pick your realm difficulty, which I also picked medium for. Realm difficulty can be changed with each realm you go into, so you won't be locked in if you want to change it later. And there you have it guys. This is our girl Elusive, the medium level tradeswoman with purple hair and a badass attitude. Let's get into this. Ooh, a trailer. Oh, what is that? Her outfit though. Um. Hi? Uh, friendly? Oh, no, not friendly. Oh. What is that? Oh, oh no. Oh! Ever since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Lost. Ooh. And alone in the dangerous labyrinth of These environments look beautiful. 
Welcome to the lands of Fae. What is that? Such a humble camp. Every portal is a chance for salvation. So just a normal bird, just survivors. normal evil. <laughs> Ooh. All the gun solves a lot of problems. Little town. Is that a giant? Or leading us deeper <gasps> into this nightmare. Oh. Oh. Oh no. What are those? Uh, he's destroying stuff. No. Oh, giant not friend. Nightingale, our beacon of hope. What is but going beyond on? our reach. <laughs> as long as we stand together, our journey will unite us. You, the realm walkers, are all that is left. You guys got more backup? Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I don't think those guns were gonna help against that big guy, but like, yeah. Starting off our adventure, we enter an unknown realm. The screw will appear before every area we enter. Part of the reason I was drawn to this game is I love the steampunk look. Let my words steer. Very cool. Oh, there's like glowy stuff. I don't think I have anything to interact with currently. That doesn't sound good. How now, fleshling? With a wonder you lost in our fate. What's up here? This looks interesting. Okay. Show haste. That doesn't sound very. Show haste. Why? There's something behind me. Okay. Quickly, before I'm coming. Sniff out your despair. Room. Shadows <laughs> abound. Yet, like a fire's final embers. You refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Take these bloodstained cards, play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Give me your hands, that we may be friends, and I shall restore amends. Omosit in kunul ome. Sure. Hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus so you, bare child of earth, might abscond this nightmare. Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. I don't like the sound of being here. Uh, okay, so we have a forest card. Great, sounds good. And a by- wait, what is that? Okay, open the portal. Fly, The fiends have caught your despairing- Nope. Don't brow! <laughs> the first realm we travel to is the forest byway. So I matched the travel cards we used. Obviously this is a tutorial, but I imagine this is how we're going to determine future travel for missions. Count thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, wilt thou be a survivor? The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Guidebook and pocket watch. off the corpse of a realm walker. 
Keep these like close companions. What's a pocket watch going to do? Am I going to swing at a wolf? Entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Okay, oh. so we gotta get some food. Under this mask, you wonder. I I, I just figured you were mysterious and ex Robin to some. Eccentric. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. So Alpac essentially said was to let us know that we have the guidebook, and at this point, I'm not sure what the purpose of the pocket watch is. But we're off on our first task, and it looks like it's to find food. What do berry bushes look like? That would be a berry bush. Offhand items using offhand items. You can hold small items like food and torches in my offhand. Press F to use your equipped offhand item. Nice. I spent some time traveling around a bit and, like the pack rat I am, shoved literally everything I could into my backpack. If it was a gravel, it was in there. Acquire sticks. We're good on sticks. We need more rocks. Rock. Rock. I hope there's no over in Cumbridge, but there probably will be. This world is absolutely gorgeous. So I found a nice place to have some lunch and read the guidebook. If there's anything my wolf parents taught me, it's that first you must forge the flame, which is exactly what I did. I made a campfire. Structures like the campfire can be used to cook, refine, or craft items. Workbenches and other stations in Nightingale have multiple interaction points. Interact with the fire pit area of the campfire to manage fuel and flame. After igniting the campfire, interact with the cooking pot of the campfire to begin cooking. Select a recipe and ingredients and press craft to cook. Cooking your food is important. You don't know what nasties are crawling all over it. Plus, it gives more bonuses, so definitely a good idea to cook your food. Roasted berries! Look at that. Okay. Raw berries. Gives me health, stamina regen by one per second. Duration's pretty good. Hunger mitigation. Nice! Craft. At this point, if you want to brave the wilds alone, this is the point in the game where you can turn off the tutorial. But I don't want to miss any important information, so I leave it on. This is a survival game after all. Too much information isn't a bad thing. Ah, uh, you've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. From the lingering scent, your meal was no summer court banquet. But at least you persist. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Puck just told us that we're heading into the desert. I'm not sure what kind of supplies that we need, so I make sure to pick up a few things before we head to our next destination. I'm here! This is really cool. Like, oh my god. Um, locate the realm's portal and venture into the desert byway. Did I get cards? Did he give me cards for this? He did give me cards. Is there an elephant? What is that? Where? I don't like these. Okay, great. And it's another byway, so it just means it's another passageway. Let's go! Rocks. I don't like the sounds. I guess we go now. We enter the portal for the desert. We once again see the realm cards for this area, but something's different. This time we can see some potential creatures we can encounter. This looks- oh, we are hot! Can I stay in the shade? Well, that lessen <gasps> it lessens the hot. Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. 
This heat devours spirit and life alike. Yeah, considering I was already hot. Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Best to test your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. Puck has given us our next task. It's to construct a makeshift home so he'll no longer be savages. This looks like a good place. Buy some trees. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you are. Are we friends? I'm just gonna hope and pray that we're okay. Plant fiber and plenty of sticks. Great. Look at it. Looks great. Do I have enough? Oh, there we go. I don't think I made it. I don't think I picked a good place to be. Resting! If your rest drops too low, you will begin losing max stamina and will succumb if it reaches zero. Rest buffs increase as the comfort level of your bed increases. Many such as light, heat, and furniture increases comfort level. Higher comfort levels add to the varying levels of bonuses to your health and stamina regeneration rate. Resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building a bedroll under shelter meets the necessary requirements. Uh, short rest. We must also make tools to help defend ourselves and all the shinies we're going to hoard. Luckily, we can make crude equipment right from our crafting menu. Makeshift mining. We got some utensils. What are these things? They're just here. Oh. So building, crafting. Got it. Let's start with knife craft and a pickaxe i don't know how much i actually need a sickle or a torch at the current moment oh wait no i do need them for the quest never mind i lied i lied i lied i lied i lied we're getting them got them all these resources can be used to craft items and be refined into better resources using refinement stations by using tools you can harvest better resources with special qualities from the realm craft higher level tools to harvest from higher level resource nodes each tool also has a certain damage type. Creatures have varying weaknesses and resistances to damage types. Return to Puck. Where's Puck? Puck? Is he a portal? Would he be here? Oh. I think him spawning in messed with the tree. <laughs> Do I get logs for that? Hi, I'm doing stuff. They dropped a lot. Nice. I don't know if we're okay. I don't know if we're okay. I'm gonna I'm go away. Um, puck, puck, pucky boy, puck. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still... I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. Let us depart and speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire then this path of beginning shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. Puck wasn't really thrilled with our first shelter, but he lets us move on anyway. He leaves us with the knowledge that we're heading to the swamp, the last section of the tutorial. In front of the portal, we find a hope echo. This is how you will discover the lore of this world, which I'll be going more into depth with on stream. Through the portal we go and get another glimpse of the realm cards. If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fae are forbidden from consorting with your kind. 
and while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. The bound guard fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare yourself, Realm Walker. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. There have been several times that Pucks brought up the Bound, but this time he mentions that we'll need to fight to leave this realm. Time to prepare for the fight to come. But first, I have to extract some essence from the too many items in my inventory. At this point in the game, I wasn't sure what essence was for. I know now that it's used for repairing tools, enhancing gear, and can be used as currency. Plant flora is a really good source for essence. This is your first trial at hunting. After you take down your foe, you need to use your knife to get the spoils. In this area, I found that I prefer to use the axe, but depending on enemy, you might want to change up your strategy since different tools do different damage. Change it up and experiment. You can find materials lying about, which I love for my pack riding nature, but be careful. You can get over encumbered and won't be able to move very quickly. And that's not very good to escape some enemies. Are you ingots? There's another one over here, okay. All right, we gotta be careful. We gotta start picking up other things that we actually need. You. Hey. Hey. Ugh. Yay, free stuff. Does that not count? I guess that it has to be from this guy. Yep, okay, so I have to find one more him. Leave that there. What am I gonna do with these bones and hide? Huh! Oh, he's not even dead. Don't roll anywhere! Okay, that completes that. Makeshift. You craft it. Inventory. Max HP. Sure, I guess we're wearing that. Ooh, it's not the best looking, but it'll do. Okay. This is where I need to go. Oh no, I have to do roast. Okay, healing salve and roast meat, which I think I need to make a fire for. Nice. Oh! Ow! for the coming fight, healing salve, and roasted meat. So I have to make a fire for that. Yay! Okay. Uh, craft item, we have to do roasted meat. Uh, three. Manage fuel. Ignite. Craft.
we go. Healing salve. Bones. We'll do you and fiber you. Might as well do five. Hell yeah, we're ready. Ow, dude! You scared the fuck out of me! Alright, gonna do some more roast meat. Since I ate it. Just got the bunch. You've stolen life to preserve your own. Yes, I have. A necessity. Vicious. Lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Mm -hmm. Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. And forthwith, a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. First you must oblige your inner essence, and choose the landscape that beckons. Aha. No need for words. Only thought. I pick the forest because it seems the most abundant. The mystery of the halt. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. Show no mercy. I'm so ready. Forest card, a nice bear and bees, and an ambience card. Magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image printed upon the paper begin brings intense loneliness to mind. All right, we're opening the portal. I'm getting ready for a fight. I don't know if they're coming in in front of me or behind me. Vigilant while the realms are lying. Yeah. Is that where they're coming from? Okay. All right, we got one, two. Oh my god, your faces are gross. Knock your skulls. <sighs> Am I good to go? Is that it? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Where'd the other one go? There you are. Kinda scared. Is that it? Survive the realms and rebuild all that has been lost. Alright, guys, that was a tutorial for Nightingale. We have learned the basics to survive and are now going to embark on our own journey through the realms. I'll be streaming this on release day, February 20th, so come join me as I venture into the Feywilds. If you guys have made it this far into the video, maybe leave a like and consider subscribing. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.